Back only on News 5, long lines, large crowds, thousands of dollars flying in what's people every year to see the venture to a haunted house. And, you know, someone's getting rich. Watch out behind you. Really? News 5's Katie <laughs> Blaze. She joins us live in Colorado Springs to actually bust the myth. She's outside the Haunted Mines attraction on Palmer Park Boulevard. Katie. Robin Elizabeth, the spooks and scares are just wrapping up here for tonight. And while well, yes, it's true, thousands of dollars are coming in. The reality is attractions like this have to set aside a good chunk of the revenue to make sure they can open their doors for the next Halloween season. I like the mystery of it and just the surprise. It's a Halloween tradition. People of all ages coming to haunted houses like this every year. Just to get scared. And I'm super scared of clowns, so that's what I'm most terrified of. And the master behind this terror, Vince Stites, owner of Haunted Mines and Hellscream Haunted House. Everybody asks me, well, well, how'd you get into this business? It, 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 some kids want to be a fireman, some kids want to be a policeman, whatever. I wanted to be a haunted house owner. And decades later, that childhood dream is alive. This is our cemetery scene. We're checking out the fictitious town of Cold Falls, Colorado, and this is the hotel that we're walking into. We want to transport the customer to that crazy, creepy alternate reality. But the true reality for Stites and his business. Nobody's getting rich off of it. Despite huge crowds. Just under 13,000 came through last year. Um, this year we are expecting anywhere between 16 and 20,000 to come through. And thousands of dollars in profits, the overhead cost to operate these attractions. Into the hundreds of thousands of dollars actually. The lights, sounds and animatronics are just the beginning. We have a budget that we have to set aside all um, for, for mortgage, um, lease payment, utilities, insurance, permitting. Most companies have the ability to go through the entire year um, without a, you know, and make revenue the entire year. We have seven weeks. But the prosperity of the business isn't being measured by dollar bills. I think the success for us is the fact that we're still open. Ten years of triggering blood curling screams. It's rare, as Stite says a lot of haunted attractions fail within the first three years of opening. Through the years, we've really, really tried to step up our game. With the help of about 200 volunteers. It's all labor of love. We do it because we love it. And also there's there's a there's a massive feel good side of it for the actors and the staffers. So as you can see, it's not about making a buck for Stites and his band of ghouls. Sounds like this <laughs> priceless. Well, money may be tight, but the company has grown this year. It was able to acquire a new location for Haunted Mines. The dream now to maybe expand to Denver and other Colorado cities. Now, both of these attractions are open until November 3rd, so stop by if you dare. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Katie Blaze, News 5.